Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So do y'all remember how I went to India last year around this time? I had a friend's wedding and then Joe and I went on a like tour of India with a group. So it turns out that one of the people in the group, her family owns a garden center in the UK and today I'm gonna be going and reuniting one with my friend from this tour and two visiting a garden center and showing y'all what they got. So today I'm going up to the Langton Greenhouse and Garden Center which is like just east of Birmingham. It's about a two hour train journey from me in London to up there but I am so excited to see what they got. We've been meaning to do this for ages but Time just gets away from us. I can't believe it's been a year since I've been to India. Um, crazy. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, so I thought I would take y'all with me on my adventure to see my friend Izzy and to visit their family's greenhouse garden center. I think they have mostly outdoor plants, but I know they have a section of indoor plants as well. So I'm hoping I might be able to find something fun that I might be able to take home. Does it count as breaking my plant ban if I'm doing it for work? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Technically this is all work so I guess it does but we'll see. Maybe there'll be something that I want to pick up. We will find out. So let us go get on a train and visit this garden center. So right when you enter the Langton Greenhouse, you get to the houseplant section. I was immediately distracted by this, but we're gonna come back to that a little bit later. We actually went and had some lunch in the cafe first. They had a really decent menu with lots of different options. I ended up having a brie and cranberry sandwich with some crisps. And they had an amazing selection of cakes, which are all made on site, which was amazing. I had an almond slice and it was delicious. After lunch, we went and explored the outside garden section. They had loads of things for outdoors there. Basically any plant you could imagine, as well as things like trellises, a huge selection of pots, even some made of recycled ocean plastic, which I think is great. So loads of bumblebees around pollinating the plants. And Izzy says that they go and make local honey, which they end up selling in the shop too. Coming back inside, it's really obvious that they sell everything you could possibly think of here. Loads of outdoor gardening stuff like seeds, seeding potatoes, supplies like fertilizer and weed killers and stuff, as well as loads of tools and gloves, garden furniture and accessories. They also had a clothes section with beautiful things and bags too. A whole section with hundreds of greeting cards and loads of homeware options. Lots of ceramics and plates and cups and stuff like that. They even have a farm shop on site where they're selling loads of local products, including that honey I mentioned earlier, and sauces, sweets, breads, fresh produce, meats, dairy, and even local spirits and beers. It really is a one-stop shop. I got really enthralled by the aquarium shop that they had there too. I know, they have freaking everything. I loved looking at all the fishes, like these koi. They had a whole section of indoor fish and some aquatic plants, which I found extremely interesting. Looking at all of these cute little fish made me really want to buy one and keep fish in my home. I don't have space for them, but I think they're so freaking cute. Look at those little eyeballs. And then we made it to the houseplant section, my favorite part of the store. They had an absolutely huge selection of plants of all different genuses and types, some desert plants, some tropical plants. They also had tons and tons of decorative pots and even some cute dinosaur shaped ones, which I thought were really fun. 
and some Quora poles to help your plants have a little bit more support, but those aren't my favorite kind of poles. The first plants that drew my eye were these alocasias. I was obsessed with this black stem zebrina. I looked at it so many times and I was so tempted to buy it. They actually had quite a lot of varieties of alocasia, some silver dragons, some polys, a lot of alocasia fridex, even a brancofolia, which I don't normally see in shops. Yeah. Terrarium? Isn't it? For $29.99? Decent deal. Little cacti and succulents. These are gorgeous. Monstera Stadalianas. They like to me, they look like they've been painted, you know? Yeah. Goodness. For only $19.99. Yeah, not Really bad, good right? price. And then like, polka dot ones. Oh yeah, the begonias. I would get a begonia. This, this leaf is really soft too. A little Cebu Blue on a pole. Again, for the size of plant, it is a pretty good price. Yeah, and they get bigger as well, so. That as well. It just looks painful. Oh, also feel the backs of these leaves. These ones? Yeah. Oh my god. So this oh is god, called a, a velvet calathea. Oh, that's, that is so soft. Yeah. Some big monsters. I really wanted this begonia crackling rosy. It was only $14.99. Oh, variegated um, peace lily, this one. Oh, okay. So they're the same as a normal peace lily, but they're variegated. And then these. Just again, the colors. Yeah. That is just, it's just mesmerizing. Right? You see why I love them. I totally get it. <laughs> it's soft. Yeah, it's like velvety. Oh my god, that feels amazing. Yeah, the focus. They also had tons and tons of different types of flowering orchids, which are really pretty. They're just not quite my style. Beautiful. These are super duper popular these days. Yeah. But it's a Peperomia sarcophylla. Okay. But that you can't find them in the U.S. Oh, why not? It's just uh, not they're just growing? not growing there. Fair enough. And Is it climate-wise? No, like you just, they just haven't been cultivated there yet. I was also really tempted by this Alocasia Gagiana California because I used to have one of these, but I ended up having issues with pests with it. And so I gave it away. This one was only $29.99, which is an amazing price for a plant this size. Quite a selection of cacti as well. Some I'm familiar with, some I wasn't and a whole section on bonsai trees. Pink princesses. $18.99. Bird of paradise here. A rare section where they have things like variegated monsteras in there. Is this really $12.99? for a ring of fire. I feel like that is a great deal. But like these are so cool. Like when the leaves come out, they come out all pinky and then they fade to the cream color. But $12.99 for one of these is a pretty good deal as well. Is that a tie? Are these tie constellations here? Quite potentially. 99 pounds for a Monstera tie constellation of this size is genuinely an incredible price. So if you're looking for a Tycon, 13 pounds for a Varicosum and Sensi. These are fun. Aglianema. For a funky Aglianema. A Philodendron Lickety Split for 22. Yeah. Beautiful. Little baby Brazils, for like five pounds for a tiny little one. Perfect. The really big, curly, huge staghorn. Only 25 pounds. Some things were on the more expensive side, like this Wayetii tricolor, but I guess it depends on where they're sourcing their plants. I would look at that, that's stunning. Yeah. So iridescent. They even have a selection of carnivorous plants with Venus flytraps and some of these jug plants. 
they're so pretty. I just don't think I could keep them alive. And then it was time for me to make my way home. I just got home from visiting the Langton Garden Centre and my friend Izzy and I had so much fun. Honestly, visiting a garden centre like that makes me really wish we had more of those close to London because there was just so much there. You could spend all freaking day there if you wanted to because there's just so much to look at. I kind of gave you a speed through of most of the things that aren't houseplants but there were loads of things that I would have loved to take home if I could. But alas, I was on the train, so I probably shouldn't have bought like an entire dish set. But yeah, it was just so cool and I wish we had more of those kind of nearby London. I guess it makes sense that we don't have them here because we don't have one like the space for that kind of thing. But also you kind of need a car to go to a place like that because you like there's just so much you can bring home and like especially if you've got a garden and you're buying outdoor plants you're gonna need a car to take them home those those kind of things aren't things that you can just kind of put in your bag and <laughs> take with you on the train so like i do get it but it makes me long for something like that near me. So I didn't end up buying any plants while I was there. There were some that I really, really did want to buy. I was so, so tempted. All of the plants looked absolutely immaculate. None of them had pests and they were all in extremely good condition for fairly reasonable prices as well. And I did love that they had some more exotic things and things that you wouldn't necessarily find in your everyday plant shop like a Thai constellation and like a philodendron ring of fire and stuff like that. Those things that are a little bit more exciting and out there that, that really pique my fancy as someone who collects houseplants rather than just having the basic like pothos and begonia and stuff. Though there were some really beautiful begonias that I would have been interested in getting. And like I said, I do kind of regret not getting anything because I I did really want to, but y'all would be proud of me. I stuck to my plant band guns and held off. But, oh my goodness, that Alocasia black stem, Zabrina, I wanted it so bad. And even just the normal Zabrina, I was so tempted to get that. And I was even tempted to get a Thai constellation because their Tycon was decently sized, but only 99 pounds. Like that is a good freaking deal. So it was, it was a bit of a struggle. You should have seen me talking to Izzy like, I want to buy things, but I shouldn't buy things, but I want to buy things. She's like, you should buy things. I'm like, no, I shouldn't buy things. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really proud of myself for sticking my guns, but I'm also quite sad that I wasn't able to get anything in the end. But I did get a little ornament thing. So they had this section by the houseplants that had a bunch of like little fairy world things that I feel like you could probably put in your garden, but they would do better in your home in like houseplants or like on a bookshelf or something. And you could buy different fairies and gnomes and little like hobbit holes and stuff like that. And I got this really adorable little reading dragon, um, which I think is so freaking cute because I've been loving reading fantasy. If you're on my vlog channel, you'll have heard all about that. But I got this cute little reading dragon and I can't decide if I want to put it in a plant or on my bookshelf because I feel like it works on my bookshelf. But it's just so cute and like you could really make a little world out of all of these little trinkets so i didn't come away totally empty-handed but i didn't get any plants so I, I i tried i did my best and my best was good enough because i didn't buy any plants so yeah that was my visit to langton garden center and greenhouse i really 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 enjoyed my time i hope you enjoyed coming along with me before i properly sign off i want to say a huge thank you to liz for joining the good growing fam over on patreon i really hope you're loving it over there and enjoying all of the bonus content if anyone else is interested in joining my patreon you get everything for the low low price of three pounds a month and yeah, like I said, you get everything, live chats, bonus videos, polls, access to the Discord server, all of the fun things. So it's there if you want it. I totally understand if it's not your jam, that's totally fine. To everybody else, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and leave a comment on other house planty things you'd like me to talk about in the future, other garden centers you'd like me to go and visit. I can try and make that happen. And yeah, subscribe for more. Thank you so, so much for watching again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.